Welcome back, everybody, to the Renaissance Humanism podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Riley. In today's episode, I will be discussing Ukraine war and economic warfare that is happening in uh, Siberia. I guess one thing that's the place in Russia where it's really, really cold and where all the gulags used to be. Uh, Ukrainian conflict is an ongoing conflict between the Russian Federation and the independent state of Ukraine. It has been waged since 2014, with the Russian military seizing the Crimea Peninsula and the well parts of eastern Ukraine. Since 2014, Russia has been popping up, popping up uh, puppet governments in eastern Ukraine and directly invading Ukraine itself in February 2022, though allegedly Russian troops were also involved in the conflict previous to uh, February 2022. With military force now directly and officially being engaged in Ukraine and Russian since, since the date of February 2022, officially. Um, since the war started between Ukraine and the Russian Federation, the Ukrainians have been using economic warfare to damage Russian's ability to supply its military in Ukraine and the borders of Russian territory that are joined to Ukraine by destroying Russian roads and Russian train networks. Economic warfare or economic war is an economic strategic belligerent nation utilizes utilized to weaken the other any state's economy and use economic blockers primarily to achieve this okay to mean uh, for thousands of years ravaging enemy this happened traditionally for thousands of years for the use of ravaging enemy crops it's the classic method uh, russians are using economic warfare against the ukrainians during the winter months with the Russians' air force deliberately targeting the ability for the Ukrainians to actually heat their homes and therefore trying to kill Ukrainians in the winter by um, freezing them to death. In the summer months, the Ukrainians target, I mean, the Russians target Ukrainian grains and the ability for them to feed themselves, thereby trying to starve them to death. So, in a sense, they're engaged in some kind of siege warfare that Ukraine is under siege. Uh, also, in regard to Siberia, there's a first series of Trans-Siberian Rail Network that connects Western Russia with the far east of Russia, which is bordering China, and that's also used as a primary means to ship goods from Russia into its new market, China. Uh, the rail network was built in the 1970s and 1980s, most Russian engineers, now the average age for a Russian engineer at their youngest is 65 years old. And because the uh, technical professions of engineering haven't been functioning since the mid-1980s, the Russians currently don't have foreign engineers to actually do the job properly. And also since the Ukraine war, those engineers are now being deployed to the Western Front, not towards Russia's east. Um, repairing the trans Siberian Railway could take years, operating in mountains and terrain, and also the permafrost, making conditions especially hard during Russia's winter months, and potentially delaying the repairs for years. Uh, these exposures could disrupt the Russians' exports, specifically those bound for China. The lack of alternative routes, because again, the, the Ukrainians damaged the Siberian Railway, could make it impossible to actually maintain. And also could be a nail in the coffin for Russian's ability to fund the war as well. But Ukrainian officials have claimed responsibility for the attacks unofficially, of course. Regardless, the uh, Russian economy could be facing a severe blow if these uh, explosions continue. According to the geopolitical analyst, author and writer uh, Peter Zion, he's also author of multiple books such as The, the End of the World is Just the Beginning. I hope you found today's episode informative and useful. I shall leave my link in below where you can actually read my substack or my personal my personal blog where you can actually find the article as well. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you found this day useful. Please enjoy the holiday season and peace out.